Very eventful evening for you. Uh, yeah. Two assists, one penalty miss, and a Wales win. How do you feel? Yeah, no, I'm. First of all, I, <laughs> I'm absolutely delighted with the win. I think uh, we <laughs> we fought hard. Uh, we worked our socks off, like we always do. Um, yeah, I missed the pen, but I feel like I showed good character to to help the team keep going. I know. We needed that victory more than anything, and yeah, to get the second goal at the end was the icing on the cake. Your interplay with Aaron Ramsey was superb all night. Tell, tell us about that first assist. How did you see it? Yeah, no, um, he got in a few times, and uh, yeah, we we've always linked up well all the time since since our early days. So um, yeah, it was uh, it was important that we we got this victory today. It puts us in a great position, and um, yeah, we're just delighted. Do you feel like you've done enough to to go through? Uh, you'd like to think so, but. Um, of course, I will have to see and wait, wait and see what happens. But um, we're in a fantastic position now. If you'd offered us four points at the start, we would have bitten your hand off. So, um, yeah, we're, ha we're happy. And what about the atmosphere tonight? All these fans here, did that energise you? Yeah, it actually helped because uh, obviously playing in front of no fans is, is difficult to get your adrenaline going and, and really push to, to those levels that you need to get to. So, um, yeah, the fans were fantastic. I know most of them were... The Turkish, but the Welsh fans were incredible again. I know there wasn't many, but they made they made it loud and they made us keep going. And you made a point of going to thank them. Yeah, always. Um, they're the red wall. Obviously, we want to thank the fans at home for supporting us as well, and um, I'm sure they're going to be cheering in uh, in their millions tonight. Thank you. Thank you, Aaron. Congratulations. How did you feel when you scored that goal? No, I felt you know a bit of relief. You know, I had two two opportunities before that to uh, to score, but. You know, I thought that thir first half today was superb. To a man, we uh, created so many opportunities and we really dominated the play. Second half, we showed great character, we dug in, and um, I thought we thoroughly deserved the win in the end. I asked Conor Roberts the same question. How did you feel when that penalty went over the bar? Oh, he's, trying to, he's tried to wobble into the top pins, but uh, no, maybe I'll get back on him now. <laughs> um, no, it was, uh, it was a big moment in the game, but then, you know, we didn't really panic. We stuck at it, we dug in, and to a man tonight, we, we left everything out there. So uh, that's what we built our success on over the last few years, um, is really working hard for each other, and we showed again tonight. The manager said before the game that you'd be very unlucky not to go through on four points. You've got four points. What's the feeling in the squad? No, it's, uh, we've given ourselves a brilliant opportunity now. We still have a game to go, so... Uh, you know, it was an important first point against Switzerland, good team, and that really gave us the platform then to go on tonight and to, uh, to get the win. So we did it in the end, and uh, we're in a good position now. You go into Italy on Sunday, you live there. How's that going to be for you? Yeah, that'll be nice. You know, obviously, i got a few teammates um, playing for the national team, so that'll be nice. But, um, you know, I'm representing my country now, and I want to do everything to win that game as well. So uh, we'll, uh, it'll be a good battle. We'll play tonight. Cheers, cheers. Thank you very much. Connor, where does that rank in your career? The best and probably never be matched, to be honest. Uh, to even be playing for, for Wales at a major competition is, you know, the pinnacle for me personally. And uh, to pop up there and score is just unbelievable. And uh, to, you know, do it to almost, you know, not insure us, but uh, get us through to hopefully the next round, then uh, just incredible. I can't believe it. Is that the feeling within the squad that, you, that you're through now? Not really. I think it's a big step towards it. You know, obviously another massive game against Italy uh, on Sunday, but uh, you know we've done ourselves no harm winning tonight. So the plan, obviously, before the game was to win and to uh, to try and play well, and I think we've done that. And your big names put in big performances tonight: Gareth Bale, Aaron Ramsey. What did you make of their contribution? Yeah, unbelievable. They're world-class players. They've done it time and time again on this stage, not and uh, and you know the, the, the top stages. So. Um, yeah, we know what we expect from them. Obviously, I think Gaz said uh, a little I'm sorry at the end there for missing the penalty, but uh, without him and without Rambo in the team, as well as you know numerous others, I, I don't think we, we win tonight and uh, we, we're probably not even here to, to start with. So, uh, yeah, we know what they bring to the team and we all have to just you know play with them and, and give them the ball. And, uh, yeah, I think we did that well tonight in patches. When he missed that penalty, what were you thinking? Oh no! <laughs> but no, yeah, it was just like uh, I, I turn around and think, oh no, guys. Just before I was like, just please, guys, just put it in, mate. And uh, obviously he didn't. But uh, it shows that we got strong lads in there. We're, we're quite a young group, but uh, we got resilience. We got players who will just keep on running, keep on running to the last minute. And uh, we done that tonight. And he showed his character at the end, set you up for your goal. You've scored for yeah. Wales at a major championship. How does that feel? <laughs> 
<laughs> incredible, yeah. He done it twice. He done it on the corner just before, and then obviously done exactly the same. And uh, to be honest, just before it, Mapham shouted to me, said like, "Don't, don't go forward. Just stay here. Just stay here." And uh, you know, it's just what I do. I can't help it, but uh, get in there. And uh, incredible feeling. A wonderful feeling, I'm sure. And uh, tonight, there were 34 shots in this match, which is the most in a single game at Euro 2020 uh, so far. Wales had 16 and Turkey had 18. Uh, so, obviously, you know, that, that shows those blocks that we're showing, those, those headers, that putting your body on the line there is what the difference is, that, that incredible team spirit. Yeah, exactly. And I think we just had more of the clear-cut chances. I know they might have had more opportunities. I think a lot of times they took the shot option when they, yeah. could, have, they could have maybe made another pass, Turkey. I don't think they quite had that composure in the final third. Um, but, yeah, we had the clear-cut chances. And Connor talking there, I mean, I was thinking myself, I can't believe our, our right-back's in the box for the last 30 seconds <laughs> of the game. But, Bit jealous. Yeah, but, yeah, but that's been Connor at Swansea, to be honest, all season. Um, he's like that. He likes yeah. to get up there and score goals. And I'd have never let you go in the box <laughs> at that no point in, in the um, game. No chance. <laughs> Uh, and Gareth Bale himself, of course, uh, you know, he was quite in that game against Switzerland. Uh, he only had um, one touch in the Swiss box. He had nine. You know, just when you get Gareth Bale into the game, things happen. And what you don't expect to happen is for him to miss a penalty. Let's have a little look. Ashley, can you remember yeah. him ever doing this before? No, I've obviously I've pl played with him for years in training. What, Neil, what was he like? Every single penalty and free kick, by free the way. Kicks, he, yeah. Scores, yeah. he scores from anywhere, so... I just think, it went, you know, when the camera zoomed in on him, he didn't look, he didn't look comfortable like he normally does, and, and I've never seen him run up to the ball to take a penalty like that. So it was an interesting one. I'm, I didn't feel... Uh, I had to get out of my seat, but I didn't feel confident, and that's the first time I can ever say I didn't feel confident with Gaz running up to it. For whatever reason, uh, it just didn't look right. But, you know, as we said, that's why he's a world-class player. What's incredible, though, is how he then... He doesn't, his head doesn't go down. Yeah. He doesn't kind of look deflated like he's, he's you know, potentially you know, lost the victory for, for Wales in the game. He, he just yeah. goes and does something brilliant two minutes later. There's a, there's a reason why he's a top player, because he's able to deal with that, deal with that disappointment and, and get back on track very, very quickly. Lesser players would worry too much and take mm. too much on board and, and it would affect their performance. This guy's world class. Mm. And, and he's just... When he's in these situations, you expect him to do the right thing. He's so That's why he's a shock strong. when he does miss things. Yeah, he's got that kind of mental kind of there's, there's like a stillness almost, isn't there? And you know, you say before he looks like he's got loads of time, but that's because he's so brilliant, isn't it? He looks like he's got more time and space than anybody else. Yeah, exactly. And we talked a hard time about Aaron Man Ramsey missing a couple of chances, then ended up scoring because he continues over and over again, the same as what Gareth did. Well done, Neil Taylor, because we're ready to hear from him now. So thank you for that lovely link. We've got world class football players in our team that can go and win games, and I think opposition teams know that as well, as well now. And the fact that we're keeping clean sheets, we're defending how we are. Even though we conceded, obviously, against Switzerland, still performed really, really well defending the box. And I just think it's a great basis to go and play Italy on now and we've got freedom in that game. Yeah, you said, Ashley, at one point in that second half, uh, and there were a lot of nerves in the studio, I can tell you. We've scored too early. We can't <laughs> hang on like this. And they were squandering chances as well in the second half. Yeah. Uh, the second goal came so, so late. It almost wasn't needed, obviously, in terms yeah. of cementing that. But, uh, wow, I mean, I just mentioned it there. Yeah. How Gareth Bale stuck to that plan that he had from the corner. Yeah, that, well, I just, just, you know, we were talking about the Belgian game before, saying, oh, we scored too early. But then you responded saying, no, it's not that kind of game. And it, and it wasn't. We created so many chances chances today we looked in control even out of possession um, and you know as, as I've just said Gaz there to go and have the bravery and say you know we're not going to take it to the corner flag you know we're Wales we're not going to do that we're going to dribble in and, uh, and we see it here so we can take that to the corner flag there he wants to get himself a goal and he wants to finish the tie, the tie off yeah that's the mentality of somebody who's won Champions League right and he knows what the best thing to do in this situation and is. And then he does it again. I don't know what Tur why Turkey let letting it happen twice. <laughs> um, but to lay it off for Connor, and he'll be absolutely buzzing with the goal here. And the feeling on the bench, everywhere, inside here, the fans, the relief after that is, is immense. Yeah, I mean, the game was almost up, obviously, but the scoreline now just, it just looks so much more respectable, Mark Hughes, doesn't it? Well, it, it shows the, the dominance we had. I, I, I think we we're, were more than... Uh, comfortable in the game. I just felt Turkey just got so disappointed just by virtue of the way we were defending. Everything they, they tried, we, we just nipped it in the bud, we cleared headers, we, mm. the, we tracked runs in the correct manner, saw people out of uh, key areas for them. And really, 
they just got disappointed. They ran out of ideas completely towards the end of the game. Yeah, the, the defensive work rate was incredible. Let's have a little look at some of those blocks, some of those headers that Wales were forced to keep making because, you know, Turkey weren't giving up. They were 1-0. Yeah. They, they still think they've got a chance here. Yeah, and Turkey were a lot better than they were against Italy, by the way, as well. But And they put us under pressure for, for large, uh, you know, periods of the game. But I thought that Ben Davis especially made a, a couple of unbelievable clearances at the back stick. You know, but both centre-halves were brilliant. Joe Morrell, Joe Allen were brilliant. Ethan Ampadu come on and added a little bit of presence in front of the defence as well. Here we've highlighted Ben. That, that, Neil will tell you better than me, but that's just good full-back play on the, on the cover there. The, the shift that the two midfield boys put in, Joe Allen and Joe Morrell, was, you know, that, that's exactly what you need to win against the team that are pushing. And look, this is Aaron Ramsey, by the way. This, that's the goal scorer. That's our number 10, our creative player, helping out the defence and, and getting an unbelievable block. Yeah, Great. when you're in a low block like this, it's all about like covering each other, getting people out of trouble. You see Connor Roberts jump down and Aaron Ramsey filled in from there. But this attack for your defence stuff here is what, as a back line, you love doing, and that sums it up there. That's what it's all about. And I just felt we looked so comfortable because of the resilience of them lads at the back. Let's have a look at Aaron Ramsey, who'd had two amazing chances before he finally got his goal, took it beautifully. Actually. Yeah, no, it's a, it, it's a great goal. I love this. This is... this this. Uh, partnership has been going for years now. As soon as it, Gareth Bale opens up and gets it onto his left peg, Aaron Ramsey knows exactly what he's doing and Gaz finds him. Perfect run, perfect time run, perfect ball, good touch, kind of bobbled it in a little bit, but he had a few of those runs and like Mark mentioned at half-time, as a centre-half for me, it's a nightmare to pick up that diagonal run uh, when you're facing the guy that's on the ball to see that on your blind side and Aaron knows that and this is, a, you know, we're talking about a, a world-class player in Aaron Ramsey. Yeah, Aaron's prepared to do that run because he knows Gareth's got the quality on the ball to, to pick him out. So he's going to keep on making that run and he wasn't disappointed when he, uh, when he didn't get the, the results and the, the decision one early on uh, mm. with the, the earlier chance. But with that one, he just kept on going because he knows the quality of the guy on the ball 